Hello and welcome to Gladiator Summit. I am Elliot Van Rooke Van Zell, joined by Jackson Bajira Blyton. Now, WoW Esports features amazing teams, incredible players, and the best fans from around the world, all focused around the game that we love, World of Warcraft. Together, we have witnessed victory as well as defeat, but there's a lot we haven't seen. For the first time in 10 years of WoW Esports, Jackson and I have an opportunity to bring you some of those untold stories. And it's those stories that we all want to know. What motivates the players? How did these teams get here? We're taking a step outside of the arena to get a look at WoW Esports that we've never seen before. Over the last five months, we've seen hundreds of teams from around the world compete with just one goal in mind, making it to BlizzCon. All right, guys, we're going to start it off by taking a look at the EU region. So up next for them, we have the European Championships, which are going to be held in Cologne, Germany at Gamescom. So to put things in perspective for you, Cologne is a city of one million people. Gamescom is an is a event that draws 350,000 people from all around the world. So this is going to be a huge stage for our EU players. We have Europe's 12 best teams going to Gamescom. It's going to be a little bit different for them. Uh, they were competing at home, a uh, very, very comfortable environment for them. Now at a LAN event, it's a little bit different, competing in front of hundreds of thousands of people, as well as $100,000 worth of prize money on the line. It's going to be a big crowd, a huge prize pool, and their shot at one of four spots going to BlizzCon from the EU region. Our first set is Grimble, Legionals, and free therapy. So keep in mind that Grimble and Legionals qualified out of the Rallying Cry event, which is basically like an EU wild card. The next three teams are gonna be Blind Faith, Emo, and Managers. Now Emo is an interesting team, primarily running that cleave setup, doing extremely well throughout all the qualifier cups, knocking out some of the favorited teams, so definitely gonna to have to keep a close eye on them. Our next three teams are ABC, Making a Movie, and Northern Gaming Blue. The name that sticks out to me amongst that group is Northern Gaming Blue, a team that is led by Min Poike, but he's backed up by so many tournament veterans. Definitely keep your eye on these guys. And yeah, next up we have our top three point earning teams. That is going to be Enjoy Legion, Method Triforce, and Rockets Esports. Now, Method Triforce, they are our back-to-back -back BlizzCon champions. They're gonna be looking for their third consecutive uh, BlizzCon win in a row. As promised, we're going to be taking a closer look at four of these teams today. Starting it off is Northern Gaming Blue. This is an all-star roster. We have Minpoike, their team leader, Raikou, Zuniaki, and Waz. All four of these players have been to BlizzCon before. Zuniaki in particular, he's been to four separate BlizzCons, getting third place three times. So he's definitely looking to uh, prove themselves and get to BlizzCon once again. Yeah, these guys are tournament veterans, like we've said before. You know, they've been on a big stage a few times now. No strangers to land. But one of the things that they're doing differently this year is whereas they used to be specialists, now they're diversifying. I think Legion really lends itself to that multi-comping, multi-classing. And these guys who have so much tournament experience are now bringing that experience to new classes. And I think that actually could be one of the things that can push them ahead in the EU regional. They are the reigning champions from last year's European regionals. We've been talking about how Minpoike is sort of their team leader. Zuniaki also sort of the glue to keep them all together. In those moments where they might be arguing after a loss, he's really the one that gets them refocused and uh, ready to go keep their eye on the prize. Sometimes ego can get in the way a little bit. Having somebody to help them refocus, keep everybody where they need to be, keep the gel within the team going the right way, could be one of those things that helps them get that big win. Definitely strong contenders, and this is a team I'm going to be looking to have a very good performance here at Regionals, as they are veterans. This is their comfort zone, playing in a LAN environment. We sure have heard a lot about Northern Gaming. I think it's time we hear from them. I'm not a competitive person in the sense that I need to compete against others and be the best and win in that sense. I, I only compete against myself, because I want to do better all the time. I know myself that I'm driven today to do better and to be competitive because I see the results like I've come a long way with myself in that sense sort of like leveling up almost which is what keeps uh, motivating me and what keeps fueling this this inner drive as well up next here on gladiator summit we're gonna be taking another look at a powerhouse team from EU featuring two prior BlizzCon champions enjoy Legion yeah, definitely a very strong roster they are third in terms of seeding 
moving forward into regionals. Like Jackson said, they have two former BlizzCon champions. The other two uh, members of their team, they have played at regionals before, so they all have LAN experience, uh, which I think is definitely going to be good for them moving forward in this tournament. One of the most popular players and one of the best names on their team is Walrix. He plays Warlock for their team, and it's, it's a, he's an interesting case to me because Whereas a lot of players are starting to, to diversify and play different classes, Walrix has decided that he's really going to specialize on Warlock. And rather than get good at different classes, he says, I'm going to master every single spec of Warlock. I think I'm the best Warlock playing right now, because there kind of isn't any other Warlocks playing right now even. They usually play their other characters, those that have previously played a lot of Warlock, because Warlocks aren't that strong at the current patch. And that is a strategy that's worked out for him pretty well. And I think one of the reasons why he's been able to master every spec and get such a good idea of the meta is because he's actually in communication with a lot of North American teams. So that not only allows him to stay up on the meta, but maybe even feed a little bit of information to the North American teams and hope that they might knock off some of his, uh, his European opponents when the battle finally goes worldwide. Another really interesting thing about this team is Frosty, one of the players that played uh, with Enjoy Legion throughout the qualifier chaps. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make it to regionals, so they have subbed in Joe Fernandez. Quite the add-on, if you ask me. He's won BlizzCon before. Something interesting about that is the year after Joe Fernandez won BlizzCon, he was booted off his team, and that team that booted him off is in this tournament. That is Method Triforce. Oh, you better believe that if Joe Fernandez gets a chance to square off against his former teammates, he's going to be going into that matchup with a full rage bar. <laughs> and one of his teammates is going to help him get that victory that he so desperately seeks is Walrix. BlizzCon is a huge event. I'm excited, and I'm working hard to try to get there. It's really just the accomplishment of playing and winning BlizzCon. All right, and our next team up on the lineup is painfully aware of exactly how much effort it takes to make it to the big stage. It's ABC. Yeah, ABC, no stranger to close calls. Last year at the European Regionals, they were just one spot away from making it to BlizzCon, so you can bet that they're going to be more focused than ever. They've been doing a great job throughout all the qualifier cups. Uh, moving forward into Regionals, I expect big things. Yeah, and a big player for their team is Kara, known for their Warrior and Rep Paladin gameplay, also known for placing second in the 2012 World Championships for World of Warcraft. This is a player who unfortunately also knows the sting of just coming up a little bit short. In addition to Kara, they do have Alec, formerly known as Daisy Duke. I know Min Poike regarded him as one of the best minds in World of Warcraft PvP. He comes up with really interesting strategies as well as compositions. So moving forward into regionals, it's going to be exciting to see if they uh, come up with any unique comps we've never seen before, or different strategies we've never seen before. I think ABC is a team that on paper looks poised and ready to make that next step to the big stage. And we can go ahead and hear from them now. This is a hobby and we're not a professional team like many of the top teams right now that have sponsors and big names. Uh, for considering that, we did well. We had two chances of winning a qualifier, but we missed out barely. Like the last we played qualifier five, we lost the finals two to three again. So we got second. I've always been a competitive person. It doesn't matter what we play, if it's um, card game or if it's anything. I play to win and I try to find the best way of playing. So if, if I play cards, I count the cards, I think about probabilities. If I play a board game, it's the same thing. So it's always analytical approach to playing a game. All right, the next team that we're putting under our Gladiator Summit microscope is the number one point earner, thus the number one seed coming out of the EU region, Rockets Esports. Yeah, this team formerly known as the Boys Rockets Esports, they are a specialist team primarily focusing on that Rogue Mage pre-setup. They feel like that is one of their big advantages moving forward into regionals, the fact that they have thousands of games practiced together. Our bread and butter composition is Rogue Mage Priest, which goes way back. You have three different DRs that you can CC and set up CC with, and you can use all of those DRs on all of the players. These guys hadn't really been part of the competitive PvP scene until Ratapai saw Qualifier Cup number one and said, you know what? I think we can do this. So he put together a team that he believed in. They've practiced so hard and have actually been able to win uh, some serious tournaments and put them in that first place spot going into the EU Regional. So I love that story, kind of a Cinderella story, and they're definitely a team to keep our eye on. I'll we'll have to see if they can rise to the occasion. They definitely have uh, the talent to do so, just a matter of performing uh, at Regionals. The reason I consider NGB our biggest opponent 
is because um, they are traditionally a rogue mage team as well, so they they sh they should be aware of like the the strengths and the weaknesses of a rogue mage, and they should know how to play against it, which is what we've struggled against them. I definitely think it's interesting to see the difference between uh, Rockets Esports and Northern Gaming Blue. It's sort of like you have the tournament veterans in Northern Gaming Blue who are diversifying their compositions versus. Rockets Esports, who are yeah. new to the scene, really intensely focused on really Rogue Mage Priest. Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, storyline developing there between those two teams. This is a dream. Like it would be absolutely amazing to be going to BlizzCon, but right now, um, it is definitely in our minds that we could be going there, especially going into regionals as the first seed, giving us quite an advantage uh, compared to other teams. All right, guys. Now that we're all caught up on the latest from WoW Esports, it's time to look towards the future. We're going to be around the globe following these teams and players throughout the Arena World Championship to bring you an insider look. So stay tuned because as we mentioned before, our next event is going to be the European Championships at Gamescom. These will be in Cologne, Germany from August 23rd to 26th. Remember to check out worldofwarcraft.com slash esports for all tournament timings as well as all things WoW esports related. Now, on behalf of both of us here at the desk, thank you so much for watching. It has been an absolute blast. And until the next summit, we'll see you in the arena.